The James Webb Space Telescope, often called JWS, has started a new chapter in our exploration of space. Its powerful view lets us see deeper into the universe than ever before. One of JWS's most exciting discoveries is finding an atmosphere on a faraway planet called 55 Cancri E. This finding is a big step in our search for life outside of Earth. It gives us a peek into the conditions on a world very different from our own. For hundreds of years, people have wondered if we are alone in the vastness of space. Finding an atmosphere on 55 Cancri E brings us closer to answering this big question. It sparks our imagination and inspires us to keep exploring the mysteries of the universe. JWS shows human creativity and our endless desire for knowledge. The journey to understand our place in space is just beginning. With each new discovery, we uncover more secrets of the universe and get closer to understanding the big picture of existence. 55 Cancri E is a planet unlike any in our solar system. It's a super-Earth, meaning it's bigger and heavier than Earth but smaller than Neptune. This interesting world orbits a star called 55 Cancri, located about 41 light-years away from us in the constellation Cancer. What makes 55 Cancri E really fascinating is its extreme conditions. This super-Earth zips around its star incredibly fast completing an orbit in just 18 hours. Imagine that, a year on 55 Cancri E is shorter than a day on Earth. Being this close to its star significantly affects the planet's environment, blasting it with intense heat and making it a world of extremes. Discovering 55 Cancri E's atmosphere gives us a unique chance to study how a planetary system so different from ours works. By looking at this extreme world, we can learn about the many different planets that exist in the universe and the conditions that shape how they change over time. 55 Cancri E is a scorching hot world. Its close orbit around its star means that it's constantly hit with intense radiation. Surface temperatures on this planet can soar to a blazing 4,400 degrees Fahrenheit, or 2,400 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt rock. Imagine a world where the ground is a molten sea of lava, and the air itself is burning hot. This is the reality of 55 Cancri E, a planet trapped in a fiery hug with its star. The extreme heat on 55 Cancri E makes it very unlikely that life as we know it could exist on its surface. However, even in this extreme environment, there are still fascinating processes happening. Studying these processes can teach us a lot about the nature of planets and the conditions that control their atmospheres. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has given us never-before-seen views of 55 Cancri E's atmosphere, Using its advanced instruments, JWST can study the light passing through the planet's atmosphere. This analysis allows scientists to identify the chemical fingerprints of different gases present. One of the most important findings is the detection of carbon monoxide, or CO, in 55 Cancri E's atmosphere. This discovery is especially interesting because carbon monoxide is not expected to be common in the atmospheres of planets like 55 Cancri E. Its presence suggests that unusual things are happening. Finding carbon monoxide gives us valuable clues about the planet's history, how it formed, and the chemical reactions happening in its atmosphere. These findings pave the way for a deeper understanding of planetary atmospheres beyond our solar system. Section 5. The Mystery of the Missing Atmosphere One of the most confusing things about 55 Cancri E is the mystery surrounding its original atmosphere. Scientists believe that when the planet formed, it probably had a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium, much like the gas giants in our solar system. However, over time, the intense heat from the nearby star likely blew away this early atmosphere. The high temperatures would have caused the hydrogen and helium to escape into space, leaving behind a much thinner and different atmosphere. The question that scientists are now trying to answer is how 55 Cancri E still has any atmosphere at all. Finding its current atmosphere, made mainly of carbon monoxide, suggests that there are processes replenishing the gases that would otherwise be lost to space. Section 6. Outgassing. The birth of a secondary atmosphere. The intense heat on 55 Cancri E plays a crucial role in forming its secondary atmosphere. The planet's interior is also incredibly hot, and this heat can cause gases trapped within the planet's rocks to escape to the surface through a process called outgassing. Think of it like a pot of boiling water. As the water heats up, bubbles of steam rise to the surface and escape into the air. Similarly, on 55 Cancri E, the intense heat drives gases from the planet's interior to erupt onto the surface forming a new atmosphere. This outgassing process is likely responsible for the carbon monoxide detected in 55 Cancri E's atmosphere. The carbon monoxide could be released from volcanic eruptions or from gases seeping out of the planet's hot, molten surface. 
Section 7, Drastic Temperature Swings, A Tale of Two Sides. 55 Cancri E experiences some of the most extreme temperature differences between its day and night sides of any known planet. Because it orbits so closely to its star, 55 Cancri E is likely tidally locked. This means that one side of the planet always faces the star, the day side, while the other side always faces away, the night side. The day side of 55 Cancri A is a scorching inferno, with temperatures reaching thousands of degrees Fahrenheit. In contrast, the night side is considerably cooler, although still incredibly hot by Earth standards. This huge temperature difference is thought to be responsible for some of the planet's most interesting features. These extreme temperature swings create a wild and dynamic environment on 55 Cancri E, shaping its atmospheric circulation patterns and influencing its overall climate. Section 8. Volcanic Whispers. Clues from the Depths. Scientists have found hints that volcanic activity might be shaping the landscape and atmosphere of 55 Cancri E. Finding certain elements in the planet's atmosphere such as silicon and aluminum suggests that material from the planet's interior is being brought up to the surface. Volcanoes are a powerful force on Earth, shaping our planet's geology and influencing our atmosphere. On 55 Cancri E, volcanic activity could be even more intense because of the planet's extreme heat and internal pressure. The presence of volcanic gases in 55 Cancri E's atmosphere could help explain the presence of carbon monoxide and other unexpected compounds. Further observations are needed to confirm how much volcanic activity is happening on this intriguing world. Section 9. A Unique Orbit a gravitational dance. 55 Cancri E's orbit around its star is not only incredibly close but also highly eccentric. This means that the planet's distance from its star changes a lot throughout its orbit. At its closest point, 55 Cancri E is much closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. This eccentric orbit is likely caused by gravitational interactions with other planets in the 55 Cancri system. These gravitational pulls can tug and stretch a planet's orbit over time, leading to the elongated path that 55 Cancri E follows. 55 Cancri E's unique orbit significantly impacts the planet's environment. As it swings closer to its star, 55 Cancri E experiences even more extreme heating, while at its farthest point, it cools slightly. This constant cycle of heating and cooling creates a dynamic and ever-changing environment. Section 10. The Search for Life. Lessons from an unlikely candidate. While the extreme conditions on 55 Cancri E make it an unlikely place for life as we know it to exist, studying it still teaches us valuable lessons in our search for life beyond Earth. By observing a planet so different from our own, we broaden our understanding of the range of conditions under which planets can form and evolve. The discovery of an atmosphere on 55 Cancri E, even one as exotic as its carbon monoxide-rich composition, shows that atmospheres can exist even on planets bombarded with intense radiation from their stars. This finding gives us hope that atmospheres might be more common on rocky planets than we previously thought. Studying extreme worlds like 55 Cancri E helps us improve our models of planetary formation and evolution. It also reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, and life, if it exists elsewhere, might be in forms we can't even imagine. Section 11. The Future of Exploration, JWS's Legacy The James Webb Space Telescope is set to completely change our understanding of the universe. Its powerful instruments allow us to study planets like 55 Cancri E in amazing detail, revealing their secrets and providing crucial clues about the nature of worlds beyond our solar system. As JWS continues its mission, it will observe many more planets both near and far. Each observation will add to our growing catalog of exoplanets and help us piece together the story of how planetary systems form and evolve. The quest to find another Earth, a planet capable of supporting life, remains one of the most important endeavors in human history. The discoveries made by JWST bring us one step closer to answering this age-old question and inspire us to continue exploring the vast and mysterious universe we call home.